Time now for News Extra. We are at 7.51, brought to you by First State Bank. And with our program, here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Our guests today are uh, Scott's Bluff City Planner, Annie Folk, and also uh, Father John Sorensen from our Guadalupe, from, from Our Lady of Guadalupe Church here in Scott's Bluff. They are taking part in this Activate Scott's Bluff, Gearing, and Terrytown. We should include them as well. Um, you've probably been hearing about this. Um, they had a big open house November 3rd an effort to improve the health of local residents by enabling them to get regular physical activity through walking and biking or active transportation. And they have another big meeting coming up later this week. That's why Annie and Father are here. So, um, Annie, let's first of all talk about this effort and uh, how it started, why you guys are doing it, and then uh, we'll get into the uh, summit that you're going to have on Thursday night. Yes, this is an effort that is going on all across the state. There's about 10 different communities that have been selected, and we're working with Panhandle Public Health District on this because they're really trying to help address obesity, address health issues that come from a lack of exercise. And, of course, the most accessible, the easiest form of exercise there is is walking. And so they're trying to really get people out there, trying to address the barriers to walking and biking just to get more people get people to be more active all right so you had a a meeting on november 3rd where you had an open house and you talked about this and the need for more walking and biking trails and there is an effort here locally already i mean we have this uh, big huge walking trail that we have uh, proposed that starts over at riverside park and goes down avenue i and then over uh, down uh, down over by the highway and up to the college, right? Right, and that's already in the works. It's already funded. It's in the design phase. And so that's a great start, but then there's also a lot of other areas of town that we're hoping to get connected and we're hoping to improve the walkability of the entire community. All right. So, Father Sorensen, uh, one of the areas that we really need walking and biking trails bad is uh, southeast scotts down in my neck of the woods that's right you know so i'm director of the guadalupe center and uh you know we exist for a number of different things education but also wellness wellness of people and and particularly in that part of town and uh you you can walk over to the monument pathway you got to get over to the y but in order to do that you got to cross railroad tracks and go over some broken sidewalks and then there's some areas without sidewalks and you know, it's it, there's some barriers to being yeah, I, active. You got to really overcome the barriers, area. and you got to really want it, or or it's just it's tough to do. So you know, in our summit, we want to get ideas out there. We got to create a plan, and what what are the things, obstacles to be overcome to make the area more inviting for active transport. So it's not well, I'd like to go walking or biking, but it's such a hassle, and I don't want to do it, but. It's there's a trail or, or there's there's areas and there's bike lanes or whatever it is that are that invite me to be more active and 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 lose that weight from eating all that good Mexican food down in my neighborhood. Yeah, you said you've gained ten to fifteen pounds since you've been here. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like you've gained much, but uh, I'll take your word. For okay, it. okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, All right, we'll come back after the break, talk about uh, the summit on Thursday night, why it is so important for folks to be there right after this. Love touches everyone, both those who give as well as those who receive. For 35 years, First State Bank has been able to touch the lives of many in the Panhandle through our Gift of Love program, and this year is no exception. We invite you to share your love by picking a name from our tree of names or donating new children's coats. You may leave your donations at either of our First State Bank locations, 2002 Broadway in Scotts Bluff or 1540 10th Street in Geary by no later than December 7th. All donations stay in the Valley, won't you give? First State Bank member FDIC. We're back on News Extra. We're talking about Activate Scotts Bluff, Gearing, and Terrytown, a big summit coming up Thursday evening, 1 to 7 p.m. over at the Guadalupe Center. And uh, as we mentioned here before the break, there's been a a big effort uh, here started to try to get uh, more walking and biking trails, more active transportation avenues for people here locally. Not only Scotts Bluff and Gearing and Terrytown, we have Annie Folk here, Father John Sorensen from Our Lady of Guadalupe Church, 
So uh, explain how important it is to get people uh, to this summit, Annie, on uh, the 17th. We really want as many people as possible to come. The whole goal of the summit is to come out of this with an action plan. So figuring out whether that's taking some suggestions to council to set some policies for the city or working on events to get people out and help make them aware, maybe some mapping. You know, there's all kinds of different directions we can go with this, but we really need people from the community there to determine what's best for our community specifically. All right. And the other thing is, uh, if you get a lot of people there, you need citizen comment in order to obtain grants to fund many of these uh, walking and biking trails we need. Now, we have the one that we mentioned from Riverside Park up to the college. That one's already funded. But in order to get walking and biking trails through neighborhoods, that's another story, right? Right. In the future, the more that we can show that we've done the the work to show that this is truly something that the whole community supports that always helps and helps with grants it helps with funding it and it helps us to know where to put the paths and whether it should be bike lanes whether it should be walking paths just helps give us guidance as to what to apply for so it's it's one thing for the people at the you know the elected officials or those that work for the city and professionals that are in health to, to say oh we need this stuff it's another thing for the homeowner and the resident and the and, and the average citizen to say, hey, we want this stuff. That says a lot. And when you're applying for grant funding or trying to set priorities or policies, you want to know what the people who live in those areas want. Because it's, you know, I could go in and, and plan something great and, and the residents there would say, eh, it doesn't make any sense. We want that kind of input. We want people to say, hey, this is a problem for me or this is what I'd like in my neighborhood. And that, you know, you put that into the plan and all of a sudden, all the work that you do becomes much more valuable, much more productive, and does the community and the residents a lot more better, a lot, a lot more good. Yeah, no question about it. Now you're, uh, uh, you've, the Guadalupe Center is hosting this wonderful place to really do it because uh, you have so much space there mm -hmm. uh, from one to seven. And uh, this is very, a very informal thing. Um, I would assume uh, mm -hmm. people just coming in, just talking to, uh, what, city officials and so forth? We're going to have Panhandle Pu Public Health District are the ones actually facilitating this. And so we're going to have people from the cities of Scotts Bluff and Gehring there. And then hopefully it'll just be a conversation between everyone, the city officials, the public, some different organizations. I know the hospital is going to be involved and the NRD. And so Hopefully we can get some really good conversations going. All right. Father, have you discussed this uh, during Mass and so forth or at church or whatever? I have tried to animate my people uh, and, you know, and, and get the word out in the neighborhood as well. Say, come on, uh, let's, 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 let's show up and, and say this is what we would like to see for our, for our neighborhood as well. And, and I'll be there for translation services if, if you don't speak uh, English really well or you know, you're a little nervous or you know someone that is a little nervous – I, I'm there to translate, and I'll have others there to help facilitate conversation there. And I did get a bike rack for the Guadalupe Center, so if you want to bike down and be <laughs> active to come to the summit, we got somewhere for you to stick your bike. All right. And if you're biking down on Thursday when the temperatures are a little cooler, that'd be that'd be good. Hey, you know, you know, I went to school in Minnesota, and those Minnesotans would bike to work or school at 20 below in the snow, you know, so because the infrastructure was there and the community support was there it was available and they did it they were active yeah and uh that's that's the way they are in minnesota they don't care whether it's snowing or they cold. love winter yeah they really I, do they I'm, actually love it more than the summertime i'm immune to winter because of all the time that i spent i built up an immunity <laughs> okay well maybe i ought to spend some time in minnesota <laughs> all right so once again 1 to 7 p.m thursday night over at the guadalupe center we need your comments on uh, what we can do to improve walking and biking in our region. All right. Thanks, Father. Thanks, Annie. Appreciate it. Thank you. Your trusted voice for sports, KNEB, Scotts Bluff, Gearing, 960 AM, and now on 100.3 FM.